Okay, this is Sog Sunday Shop Talk, everybody. I'm going to try and go through it quickly as possible. I got a window here. I would love to throw a knife. I did three videos inside because I wasn't able to come out here to my happy place. This is where I sharpen knives, take them apart, polish them, play with them. I grab four or five. I go out there and throw. You only see me throw one or two. I'm out there throwing. I got my knife. I'm throwing knives in this knife chest. So inside, I did three videos, overhead shot. Did one on uh, gentleman's knives, what I consider gentleman's knives. So if you want to take a look, that was kind of a long video, but what the heck, I had all day. And I did one on uh, uh, four or five of my favorite. Yeah, three o'clock. I have, uh, that just that's threw me off. I, I see the clock right there too. Uh, I did uh, one of four or five of my favorite uh, like satin finish blade knives, sog knives. Uh, and then I did one of my most expensive folding knife and most special knife that I own. Uh, there was only 800 of them made and I got one, okay? So I did that one. So then I grabbed some knives, I came out here. I'm gonna throw one, I'll hopefully get to it. But uh, I'll tell you right now, the last sog knife I bought was that clam pack with another field knife in it and it had that little uh i forgot what you call it uh anyway i did that not too long ago at walmart it was like 20 bucks and a clam pack so that was the last sog knife and then this is the last one before that this is the sog uh trellis fixed blade knife okay stone wash finish d2 steel uh i did take that Torx bit off because I recognized it. It is full tang. I can tell you that right now because uh, I knew by looking at it, it, it kind of reminded me of the Pentagon FX and Pen Pentagon Covert. Yeah, I took this off and you can take the scales off of this. Kind of has a funky inside uh, compared to the uh, Pentagon FX. I like the jimping on it. It's not aggressive. It's a pretty cool knife. Uh, I wasn't real fond of the uh, belt clip, so I took it off. I'm working on something. But yeah, that's the last SOG knife I bought since they were bought out. In case you're wondering. Okay. And then I'm carrying this today. And uh, yeah, I use this. This is the, I'm going to do a short on it probably. And I did an overhead shot of it. This is my most modern. This is a SOG Kiku. Okay, this is a fixed blade knife, VG10. And this is available. My car to scale, the scales feel great on the hand. It's a great size. Look at that jipping. Very sharp. You know, I did the uh, Saw Kiku XR the other day. It has that same recurve. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Now this one, because I really, I'm just not into these clips because see how high that is? But if you got a good lockup on a sheath that you trust, but I recommend do do have a strap, you know what I mean. But today I'm carrying it. I carry it upside down like that. So this part's only it doesn't even bother me. And this is like down. Okay, that's okay. But I do recommend doing a strap. You know, have a strap just in case you start running. And this wasn't locked up, but this locks up really good. I'm gonna do a short video on that. That's the Saw Kiku fixed blade knife. I showed y'all the large one uh, not too long ago, a couple of days ago, a few days ago. Wicked, whatever. Okay, then let's see what here. Okay, I got uh, three knives here. One of, this is one I showed on the overhead and sides. This is the very first uh, SOG fixed blade knife I bought until I got into collecting them. I fell in love with this. I bought it to throw it. I've thrown it, I can't tell you how many times. This was actually made for the military and uh, in mind and law enforcement. And this is the SOG Pentagon S14N. And I did an overhead shot and went through full with it. I got this out here to do a short video. And I'm thinking about something on this. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but yeah, it's, it's pretty used. Uh, they're hard to come by now. You can get them. I got this for $59 on the SOG site. Yep, 59 bucks. I think on eBay, they're like way up. 
great knife though okay now i brought these out here just to show and tell i'm gonna do a short video on them uh let me see what i got here i'm trying guys this one i've shown before this is nasty this is wicked look at that that's the old logo anytime you see that you got you a nice collector's sog knife you know what i mean okay I'm going to take this out of the leather sheath. And this is wicked, guys. This is that SOG Team Leader Survivor Knife. Yep. Look at that saw. The saw blade on it. Let's see if I can stand back here and I'll focus. That might be the light that's doing that. But anyway, it's double. Yeah. That is wicked. Wicked sharp. Got jipping here. Let's read off the specs here. It's all safe steel, satin finish. Cross cut saw. That's what it is. That's why it's so wicked. And it has Zytel handle. It's full tang. And it's made in USA. And it's sharp. This is one of the most wicked knives I own. I mean, this is like outdoors, you know, you can saw, but hey. That, that's wicked. That is a wicked knife. That would do a incredible number uh, i don't have look at jipping underneath here placement for the hands and trying to get away from what i was getting at i'm just saying that uh if i were to uh accidentally cut myself with this you know that would be uh, a hard wound to uh, stitch up you know what i'm saying i'll leave it at that that's the sog team leader survival knife usa and then this one right here, uh, Isaac Knives of Knowledge. He's got one, and he showed it the other day. That's not it. This is it. This is the. Uh, this is a nice knife here. This is a. Uh, he searched high and low and finally came across one like I did. Uh, this is the Sog Northwest Ranger 2.0. Nice leather sheath. I did an overhead shot of this too in that video. I'm just showing you guys again because I fixed to do a short video for those that don't watch the whole video we got jipping here it's an Osage steel look at that flat flat grind it's very sharp you got your guard down here you don't have one up here which is nice because I got the jipping that is a craton handle with that sog checkered pattern and also for the older sogs you'll you see that logo how the the O in the center how it's different yeah there you go. And SOG does that checkered pattern for grip. There's your lantern hole. It is full tang. Feels great. Nice satin finish. That's the SOG Northwest Ranger 2.0. With that said, I'll figure out what I'm going to throw. Uh, I'm not sure. It might be this, the Telus, or it might be a surprise. I don't know. I might not be able to throw. We'll see. Y'all take care and sog out.